What's going on? We back with the Boss Link and more. Probably do a live stream tomorrow night, tomorrow or later on tonight. It'll be themed similar to this video. So you will know it when you see it. It's gonna be fire, flames. Probably a little bit controversial. But we back. It's the Boss Clinic and Boy CJ. Good fella. Y'all know what it is. And should Triple G Gennady Golovkin be stripped of the WBC and the IBF, and mainly the IBF, and I explain my stance on the WBC. Um, okay, what's going on is this. You know, Vanes Monterosian is rumored to be his next opponent. It's almost official. May 5th, Carson, Carson California, StubHub Center, okay? At first, none of the sanctioned belt bodies, WBC, WBA, IBF, approved a fight. All of a sudden, probably a check was slid to the WBC, WBA, and, and the IBF was like, no, no money, no good here. So the WBA, WBC, now is rumored to approve the rumored for Vinesh Monterosian for Triple G. And the IBF still saying, no, nah, because Lou DiBella and Circus Zajanko is putting major pressure for Golovkin to fight. Zajanko, who's like 12-0 and 0 with 10 knockouts, but he's the number one IBF mandatory. He beat Torian Johnson, I think. That's what it was. But, um, you know, basically, Triple G and his team is saying there's no money for Shijanko. HBO can't license a fight for Shijanko. You know, I don't know what it, you know, what the what the issue is. They can find the money for Vanez. They can find the money for Shijanko. But the, the issue is this. As far as Shijanko, um, he's a, a dangerous opponent. They don't want a dangerous opponent on two or three weeks or three weeks notice. They respect him too much. They want to lay in. And at this point, when you hold three belts, you can't get an easy fight. So just, you know, postpone your fight and get a full training camp under your neck if you're feeling like that. But Golovkin released to the press like last week. Like, I'm ready for anybody. Be drama show ready for anybody. If you're ready for anybody, then you should at least be ready for a guy with 12 fights in Shashanko. But he's not. He's scared. And if he doesn't fight Shashanko or fight a former foe, it's rumored. And Dan Rayfield, I, I linked a tweet in the description if I remember says there's a strong possibility that uh, Triple G gets stripped to the IBF. And I'm glad because he should be stripped to the IBF because he didn't want to fight nobody strong enough. Von Ass is a joke, okay? A guy who never fought at middleweight, lost two of his last three fights, and fought in two years. So how is we sanctioning this? The WBA and WBC, they jokes too. So the IBF didn't sanction He didn't want him to fight Shashanko. He's, he's scared of Shashanko, obviously, on short notice. So he should be stripped. Also, he should have went for W. He should have went for undisputed last year when Billy Joe Saunders was calling him out in June. The Oscar, you know, bitch slapped him in K two and told him if you fight, you know, Billy Joe Saunders in June, no Canelo in September. You know, that just shows you that Canelo for him and the money was bigger than making history and being undisputed. So he let Oscar control his career, and um, now he should get stripped. You know, now what he fighting for? You know why shouldn't I, shouldn't the WBC strip him too? Because obviously they gave him that belt. You know, he didn't throw one punch for that belt. You know what I'm saying? Not one. So he should he should be able to he he should have had the same the same uh thing that the other Charlo got. When Jamel picked up a vacant belt versus uh Julian I mean Julian Jackson's son, John Jackson, he had to fight Charles Halley and he had to fight an unqualified Erickson Lubin back to back. Cause he didn't cause he won a, a mandatory. This dude no, cause he won a vacant belt. Triple didn't even win a vacant belt. It was handed to him. WC wanted him to be the champion. Hasn't haven't made him fought a mandatory since. Had had no mandatory. Jorge Sebastian Highland was a mandatory for that belt for two or three years. Maybe Cotto, Canelo held it, or Golovkin. So he should be stripped. He hasn't fought no mandatory. So where's the rules? This ain't the old Wild Wild West. He should have been able to had to face Sebastian Highland, or he should have had to face Jamal and Charlo by now. Because we got the super WBA belt, there's no mandatory. So you go around and do what you want to do because ain't no really no laws against it, you know, for it. So, he want to fight uh, Von Ass. All of them should strip him. If he can't find a tough enough opponent. And that's true talk, man. That's true talk. He should be stripped of if every last one of his belts. But the WBC, why? Too. How you got a champion, man, who ain't threw a belt, who ain't threw a punch, excuse me, for that belt yet? He ain't truly defended that belt versus WBC mandatory or WBC contender, uh, rank contender for real. You know? You know, the, the WBC is a joke. It's a joke. Dude ain't threw a punch, you know, for that belt. And he get the belt. They hand him the belt. You know. Same thing, I, same thing for WBA. How can you sanction him fighting Vinesh Marjorie and a guy who ain't been in the ring in two years and lost two of his last three fights? 
and, and it's, it's y'all out there. Some people like y'all out there. It's rationalized. It's, oh yeah, you know, yeah, uh, you know, Vanas, he gave Andre the, uh, and Andre and Charlo a tough fight like fucking five fifty years ago, and he came up short. He came up short. Regardless, how you want to slice the cake, he lost. So what qualifies him to fight Triple G? Like I said, Triple G whole career is based on bum bash. He's not a Hall of Famer. You know what I'm saying? He be David Lemieux for his ABF belt. Ooh, and David Lemieux. Been a bum. Marco Antonio Rubio knocked that guy out. So what made him so special that Triple G beat him for the IBF belt? The guy he beat for the, the WBA belt? I mean, he, I mean, he probably driving trucks. Truck driver. Garbage guy. Nobody remember his name. And people get mad. I be like, who the Triple G beat for his belts? Niggas get puzzled. Oh, David Lemieux. You know, he was a big puncher. David Lemieux was limited. He, like I said, he lost to Marco Antonio Rubio, for God's sake. God damn. David Lemieux has never beat an upper echelon fighter. And if he beats you, you ain't an upper echelon fighter. So what? Who he beat for his WBA? He bum bashed for that? In Germany? A guy that wasn't even qualified for the belt? To, fight, to, to, to be fighting for the belt? WBC was handed to him? Like I told you guys, I'm going to expose this guy later on tonight or tomorrow. It's exposed time. Live stream exposing bums. Exposing bums. Exposing bums. Triple G been a bum. Been telling y'all this shit for years. I pull up each and every video I did on him. He a talented fighter, but guess what? You only as good as the bums that you beat. And he beat a lot of bums. He a bum. TV Seymour. We gone. No bum bad.